Bible said we're not ignorant of the devil devices. What do I say? We are not ignorant of the devil devices. One of the reasons why we're not ignorant of the devil devices is because we know who the devil is. There's a lot of people under the sound of my voice that does not know about Satan. Does not know about demons. Does not know about familiar spirits. Does not know about witchcraft. Does not know about voodoo. Does not know about, my friend, you going to your hoga board. You going to the, I call it the witch, the witch, the witchcraft board. The Bible said we are not ignorant. We are not stupid. We are not unlearned of the devil devices. The devil is a spirit. Amen. The devil is not unlimited. He's limited. And one of the reasons why I'm saying this to somebody out there, you got to know your enemy. Hallelujah. Keep your friends close and your enemies far away. Hear me. Because we as being people of God, we got to know who whose our enemy is. And that's what the Bible say. If you walk in the flesh, Amen. You are you are fulfilling the flesh. If you walk in the spirit, the Bible says these are two are contrary one toward another. When I do good, evil is always present. What an evil? The evil is the devil. The devil is the evil. He's the evil one. If you're watching this video and you're being attacked by Satan, and the reason you be attacked by Satan because Satan had go to think you are stupid. Satan think you are unlearned. Satan think you are ignorant. Hey, glory to God, hallelujah. And by you knowing what Satan is, he's a spirit. And Satan is defeated. Hear me? Satan is a defeated foe. And when you know he's a defeated foe, my friend, you have the upper hand on him. But if you don't know him, he's going he gonna, he gonna to carry you through hell, even though his last destination is hell. Satan, demons are not in hell. And we got to stop saying that Satan go to hell. He know he's going to hell. He's not there yet. You, we, can't, we can't send him there because we're not God. So I'm telling you, if you're watching the video, my friend, we got to know our enemy. Hey, what I say? You got to know your enemy. Your enemy, my friend, is not flesh and blood. <laughs> your enemy is prince of power and power, rule of darkness of the world, spiritual wickedness in high places. Everybody smile on your face and ain't, ain't, ain't your friend. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're not fighting flesh. We're not fighting blood. We're fighting principalities. We're fighting rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. My friend, the, the, the worst, and the Bible says, your enemy is of your household. They go to God. You know why? Because the enemy jump into people. Look at Judas. Judas betrayed Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. The Bible says, when he gave the sap, the Satan entered into Judas, and Judas betrayed Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm trying to tell somebody, it's time to know your enemy. If you don't know your enemy, my friend, that's why you're going through what you're going through because you don't know who is up against you. Who up against you? Not the flesh and blood. Prince of power and power. Rulers of this world. Rulers of, rulers of this world. Who the rulers of the world? Satan. The Bible says Satan is the god of this world. He's the god of the world. That means that he go to God. He got his demons out. He sent out a mission to get you. And if you don't know Satan, my friend, Satan know you. <laughs> well, I say, Satan know you and you don't know Satan. You don't know, you don't know familiar spirits. You don't know who, who you're you, who you fighting up against. Hallelujah. You're fighting against principalities. And that's what the Bible said, a weapon of warfare, not carnal. You can't fight the devil with incense. You can't fight the devil with candlestick. You can't fight the devil with holy water. This ain't an exorcist, my friend. This is, this is reality. And you got fighting through the blood. Hey, Lord, we listen. We have the weapon. The weapon, my friend, is the word of God. The weapon is our prayer. But if you don't know who you're fighting, you're gonna lose every time. That's why the devil is fighting you. He's fighting you because you don't know who he is. Hey, go to God. Catch you on the other side. We listen, listen, my friend. We know who Satan is. Satan jump into people. 
and use people to come up against us. But it's not flesh and blood. It's against spiritual. It's against spiritual deities, my friend. The which is called the demons. They don't believe in demons. They believe in deities. Hey, glory to God. But I'm telling you, you gotta know your enemy. Yes, know them, man. Know them like you know, like you know your name. Hallelujah! You know where you live at. You know if you're born or, or, or unborn. You know if you're saved. You're not saved. It's time to know the devil. And if you don't know the devil, the devil know you. Why? Why? Why you say that, preacher? Because the seven sons of Sevas, they, they, they say Paul. We know, and Jesus said, no. We all know you. We we know you. We know you. You, you were at the club. <laughs> we know you when you're screwing that man. We know you got a boyfriend. You pretend to be a Christian. We know you, you, you commit adulteries. And you know what's wrong. We know that. But we don't know. If you fight us, we won't laugh at you because you're on our side. It's time to know who Satan is. And, and a lot of Christians, my friend, they like I was, I was, I was talking. I was talking this line and they're saying that you believe in the devil. I don't believe in the devil. I know who he is. Hallelujah. You got to know who your enemy is. The enemy is yourself. You can't trust yourself. Because Bible says we have no confidence in the flesh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And also, the world is our enemy. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. So we don't participate in worldly activities. We don't get drunk. We don't smoke weed. We don't commit adultery. We're not homosexual. We're not lesbian. I mean, we don't do a, a bakery. Hey, glory to, come on now. Hallelujah. We don't participate in, 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 uh, in ta ta tattoo uh, reading or crystal ball reading or, or necromancy. Those things are worldly. Our trust is in God. Our confidence is in God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So it's time to know your enemy. We're not ignorant of the devil devices. Why well, say we are not we are not unlearned. And the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They fall because they don't understand. My friend, the reason why the children of Israel went into captivity, because my friend, they have no knowledge. Why? Because they don't know. The Bible says flee, flee idolatry. Hello, flee idols. You should not have no stone. You should have no picture of Jesus in your house. Jesus is not white, he's not black. Hallelujah. Because we have no confidence in the flesh. When he's coming back, he's coming back as a spirit. Hallelujah. The Bible says every eye going to see him, even that pierce him on the side. So you got to know your enemy, my friend. And what, it, what the devil does to us as being people of God, we get hung up in colors. Come on, come on. We get hung up in riches. We get hung up in popularities. We get hung up in celebrities. And I'm telling you, my friend, the devil used these tactics, these devices, to put the devices against us. Why? Why do you think? Why do you think we have so many churches, so many, so, so many denominations? Because Satan knows how to put division among us. Amen. Why? We got Baptist, we got Pentecostal, we got Apostolic, we got Seventh-day Adventist, we got Kojic, we got, we got Quaker, we got Lutheran, we got Methodist. Why? Because the devil uses kind of devices to separate us, to put division among us. Hallelujah. Glory to It's Jesus. It's Jesus Christ. And glory to God. It's a Holy Ghost field. It's not a denomination. Paul say, this is what Paul say. Paul say, is Christ divided? Paul say, God didn't call me to baptize, but God called me to preach the gospel. So it's time for us, my friend, to stop being used by the devil. I told y'all I went to this church for 15 long years, my friend, and half the people, they were worshiping Satan. And yes, sir, they were worshiping the devil. They were worshiping demons. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And they, they didn't even know that they were worshiping the devil. But we got to know who Satan is. You can shout all you shout you want, but Satan looking at you. He gonna try you. You come off your high and they gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. And you just ignorant of the devil devices. The Bible says when Jesus Christ finished his, his fast and he was tempted, the last fast, the last temptation Jesus Christ gave, and then you know what happened? The Bible say, Satan leave for a season. And we got we to gotta know who Satan is. 
Amen. Satan try Eve. And Eve, hallelujah, say, for real? And she ate the fruit. And glory to God. So we got to know. When you know, it will show. It will glow. And it will flow. Do you know who Satan is? That's my question. We know who God is. Hallelujah. Come on. But we don't know who God, we don't know who Satan is. Because Satan is a spirit. Amen. I, I, I know you say, I say, what is it? What is the devil? What is demons? But today is, do you know who Satan is? Preachers don't, pastors don't preach about who the, who the enemy is. They're going to preach about prosperity. They're going to preach about glory to God. You get another man, you get another woman. But they never tell you about who Satan is. You got to know. You got to know your enemy. Amen. Paul said, am I an enemy? Because I tell you the truth. You got to know who the enemy is. Because the enemy is not flesh and blood. The enemy is a spirit that jumps into people. And all of a sudden now, this person was your friend. All of a sudden, they're not your friend no more. All of a sudden, they're talking about you. All of a sudden, they're separating you. Because, my friend, we live in a world where Satan used. Look, at he used a serpent. Amen. He used a Pharisees. And he's trying to use uh, Peter. And, and Jesus Christ told Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. And Jesus Christ told Peter, Satan, the size is to see you as we. But I pray for you. When you convert it, strengthen thy brother. You saying, preacher. Satan know who, hallelujah, are ignorant of him. And it's time for you to know. How you know him? You know him by studying the word of God. You know him, glory to God, by knowing that the Pharisees and scribe, they let the devil use them. They become educated devils. And glory to God. So do you know who Satan is?